Hey guys, welcome back to the Piston Slap channel. I'm Robert, and today I'm going to show you how to put GPX files over top of, or GPS, GPS data on top of your video files. Uh, so this will be mainly for Android users, um, but you can follow along for you iPhone guys. Um, in the Google Play section, you're going to want to search for Backcountry Navigator. They have two apps here. You can see one's a pay for $11.99 or they have the freebie. I currently use the freebie because it does what I need it to do. I just need it to uh, record a GPX file and then be able to upload it. I'm going to name my trip here real quick before I forget what I'm doing. That's not even how you spell it, but whatever. So you can see that, I don't know how well the camera will pick it up, but the edge of the map is literally like right over here. I didn't get far enough this way when I saved it into my off, offline database. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. Um, as long as it's recording, it has GPS coordinates and it will overlay onto, a, uh, onto your video later on using your internet connection at the house where you do your video editing. So basically what I do is I set it to record, name my trip, throw it in my backpack and I just ride till I get to where I want, make sure I hit the stop button when I get to the other end of the trail or wherever I'm going. So like you see my phone is looks like it's off. This isn't my normal talk phone, this is just like I said a random smartphone that I just hooked up to Wi-Fi, downloaded the app, and that was that. So right now as I'm riding with my backpack and that phone just sitting back there, it's uh, just basically pinging me as I go along. And it's just a tracker. It doesn't tell anybody where I'm at. It just records where I'm at via GPS location. And uh, that's how it comes with. If you look down here in the lower left of the screen, you'll see a speedometer, altimeter. I can throw in uh, GPS coordinates. Alright guys, so when I was filming this segment, I actually had the microphone of the camera sitting down. So, anyway, what I got is I've got the app opened up, and you can see what's all going on. Um, in the upper right, uh, there's a file icon. You can click on that icon. It'll bring you to uh, where you can select your... Uh, different tracks and stuff. It'll be the first selection. I'll say like default has zero waypoints and seven tracks or however many tracks you save. Um, once you get to that point, uh, you'll slide it from waypoints over to tracks and select uh, whatever track it was that you want to upload. Uh, I'll go ahead and select Humpty Bump. And once that's loaded into the phone on the upper right you'll have three dots lined perfectly vertical um, along with a bunch of statistics underneath of you know trail and everything so clicking those three dots will bring up another menu <coughs> and on that menu uh, the third one down you can click export then uh, once you hit that export button That'll uh, basically bring you to the next screen, which will say, you know, basically how you want to name it, and then it'll have .gpx. You can change it to a KML or KMZ, depending on how you want. Uh, we're going to use GPX for this, and then you just hit export. It'll say, you know, exporting, and it says export complete. Once you have that, you'll notice that the share file button underneath it lights up to where you can actually share it with other uh things so what I do is I actually email it to myself so at that point what you would do is input your email address and then hit done and uh, then you're on your way to the rest of this video alright now that you've got your GPX file captured and uploaded to your email um, what you want to do is uh, download it and download it into a file that you know is where to find it later so that way you're not searching your computer you can see here I've got my four GPS files now we're gonna need software free software from Garmin here so go to your Google or whatever it is you use and search Garmin verb edit scroll to the bottom unless you want to read all the cool stuff and then hit the uh, download for free verb edit for PC or for Mac 
once your verb edit is installed and opened up, you can import your video clips. And they give you a couple little quick links right here for the different uh, GPS or camera software or whatever the heck it is that they use. I always just go right over here to the right where it says import other. I select a video from the list uh, of my GoPro videos, which I've already done. We'll go ahead and just do one for you guys. 15. Yeah. And then import only. I don't know what video this is, but click OK. And then you want to create a video. We'll name this one Humpty Bump, because that was the name of the track I was on. Hopefully this video is for that. It's not. <laughs> 0219, here we go. So the name of the video file is Humpty Bump. 0219 is one of my single track videos you guys haven't seen yet that I'm actually working on. Uh, you can see here in the upper left of the video in the timeline there is a little gray box with a squiggly line and a red mark through it. That's your GPX. Like, hey, there's GPS data, but there isn't on this one. We need to put it there. So in your second tab down to the, on the left here, second tab from the bottom, the G matrix, uh, so there's no data or GPS for this file. So we want to import that. It saves a log here. Uh, in the second tab over of all your GPX files, but I'm going to show you as if it was your first time. All the way at the bottom on the left there, uh, when I say bottom, uh, fourth one down, uh, your source is going to be on your computer. You can drag it in here. Uh, I didn't find that to work very well, but just clicking the browse button and then just going down through your files till you get to where you saved it and click the one you want. So here we are, Humpty Bump. It shows how long I went uh, for the ride. It was 35 minutes from start to finish of the trail and a duration of five miles and all the different little datas that are included with it. So we're gonna use that log. All right, so obviously you see on my video, I'm sitting on the single track and to my left, you know, cause I was there, is a another single track. So we want to basically set it up so the GPS is actually overlaid correctly in time with the video. Um, to do that you just go right here to G Matrix Sync or you can click the blue thing uh, to get to the screen if you're not in the screen. So. Um, second tab down on the left here from the bottom you can click that brings you here and then at the bottom of this tab over is the sync button uh, just visual so we'll slide this little guy way over here to the end and this little red dot is actually your location that location is going to be over here at the little checkered flag so you can go over here and you can see that here's Boise Ridge Road, which is the road here in the video. And let's see here, we can find exactly when I stopped by. That's when I'm off the bike. Just bear with me here, guys. Okay, so this is where I was coming up out of the trail, so I know for a fact that that is right there in this little section. So we'll bring this guy right in here somewhere. It's not going to be 100% accurate on your speed, so, but it's close. So now my videos should be somewhat synced together. Um, you see elevation, miles traveled, how speed I'm going, and then my little track. And another beauty, beautiful thing about it is you can click these and move them around before you edit it, so you know where your things are. I try to prevent. I try to keep from putting anything up here in the upper right. 
in bottom left because YouTube will put their cards and stuff there. So that's about that. So now to get this thing out and usable, you'll want to. Whoops, let's go back. Um, before we go to that spot, um, up here in the menu on the top right, you got a settings feature. Um, in the advanced, from the factory, how they have it set up is they have Media Foundation and then FFmpeg, or maybe it might be the other way. Um, Sony Vegas didn't like that. So if you're using a secondary uh, video editing software when you're done with your GPS overlay, you may come into that problem. Uh, also, you may notice uh, that it'll try to render the video and it'll take forever, and then when it finally gets done, it'll say the file's too big and it won't give you a file. Uh, I flipped both of mine to FFmpeg for the encoder and decoder and that saved or cured all my problems. It still takes forever to render the video. Like, uh, just to give you an example, I had an hour and a half long video, just a raw video that I overlaid GPS on and it took almost two days to get it rendered. And this down here where it says estimated file size, that isn't even close. That thing, I don't know why it's in there, but uh, the video ended up coming out at like 12 gigs when I was done, but it was, you know, quite a lot of video. So once you get to this section, you can select your resolution, your frames a second, uh, and your target quality, um, and then also where you're going to export that video to, and then you just hit export, and you're done. That's it. Once it's all rendered up, you have your video. So hopefully that helps you guys on getting the uh, GPX file overlay. Um, if you have any questions, drop a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, hit the thumbs up if you like it. Uh, I'm Robert with the Piston Slap channel. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you have a great day.